Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Guten Tag! Ich bin Professor Dr. Arn Wolfberg, MD, Detective Lieutenant, Space Force. And today we will be dissecting specimen number 58, Roadbuster. Yeah. We have prepared our specimen, and first we must use our scalpel. Very well. Scalpel, check. Ah, clamps. Let us begin with the scalpel, yeah? I will make the incision by the head of the figure, moving my apparatus down. Excellent. I will make a second incision by the waist. Clamp. I will now make an incision to remove this extra piece of plastic. Yeah. So, very good clamps. Uh, let us see. Here is another piece. You see this protective covering is very undesirable if you are t attempting to play with the figure. It must be removed. There. Now that we have removed the outer layer of plastic we will use our scissors to snip the plastic constraints and release the figure from its hibernation chamber. Ah, there we have it. Roadbuster. Ah, but what is this? There is a bonus. A small weapon. Now we must properly dispose of this. And let us have a look. Hmm. Quite curious why they would begin the studio series of Rackers with Roadbuster and not Leadfoot. Hmm. Let us begin a further analysis. see here. Seems to be quite articulated except in the waist. Having worked on the Dark of the Moon film, there was at one point an engine block inside of Leadfoot which would transform into a canine. And that canine had sunglasses or visors which popped down to protect it from the ultraviolet 
rays of the sun, which are quite harmful. We named the dog Steeljaw. And we made a figure of Steeljaw in the Human Alliance toy line. Unfortunately, the dog never made it into the film, and we did not know this fact until we saw the film. Let us see. Perhaps we can manipulate this. And discover its secrets. This seems like a very, very simple conversion. Some people take great pride in being able to transform the figure from one mode to another without looking at the instructions. Voila! I have accomplished this without looking at the instructions. Let us see if it rolls. Ah, you can see that the wheel is moving. Perfect. Excellent. We have succeeded in our task. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Cut the Tape. And my assistant has been young Casey Alvarez. Hi. Thank you very much. Remember to wash your hands and to vote. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>